That's also the answer to the cure for cancer. Uh, it's mind over matter. Uh, your thoughts and your emotions create your reality. So if they create the physical world around you, like the chair next to me, they create the tumor in your body because mind over matter. Your mind creates the physical world. Your tumor is a physical uh, physical thing. So once you augment your thoughts and your reality, everything in your reality changes, including your body and your medical conditions. So you must change your thoughts and emotions. Where there is disharmony in your thoughts and emotions, that's where disharmony in the body occurs. Because your body is supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be perfectly aligned. It's supposed to be in perfect geometrical, um, you're supposed to have perfect health. The body is a self-healing organism. And when everything is geometrically aligned, it's the perfect frequency. Um, once you have all the highest frequency running through your body, you're in perfect health. If, uh, there is a, uh, if you have a disease, it comes from a blocked emotion and a blocked thought. Your something along the lines is not, uh, is not, something along the lines is fucked up. Uh, in your mind because the whole universe is mind over matter that includes your body and all the diseases in it and that's uh something that can take down a million bajillion dollar pharmaceutical company they don't want you to know that the whole universe is mind over matter and you're an infinite creator because if you knew that you could create anything with your mind you could create cures you could create a solution to every problem. And what do they profit off of? They profit off of problems because you know what they do? They say, look, I have a problem for you. And what do they offer you? A solution. They say, you have a problem? All right, let me offer you a solution. Thank you, that'll be $5. Where there are problems, someone along the line will come along and offer you a solution and charge you money for it. And that is how the pharmaceutical company keeps uh keeps their fucking empire running and that's why they suppress human consciousness it's fucking simple it's simple it's called limiting your godly power where there are limits there are ways to profit because limits are problems so long as you can create a problem you can create profit so long as you can create a problem, you can create profit. Listen to those fucking words. Those are fucking gold. That's fucking golden words right there. I'm telling you. And the suppression of consciousness. You are a god. You are an infinite creator. So that means you have infinite solutions. But if you limit your, if you limit a person's infinite creator power, you have limited them. So now they're going to face a problem. And the easiest way to do this is to make them completely unaware that they're an infinite creator. Completely unaware that the, the universe is mind over matter. Because if you don't know the universe is mind over matter, you don't, you don't even know how to use your own mind. You, they have stolen your mind. This is mind abuse. This is mind control. It's the number one way to profit because your mind is the key to the multiverse. Your mind is the key to the multiverse. Let me repeat that. Your mind is the key to the multiverse. That is the key that unlocks every solution you could ever imagine because your mind is what you use to imagine things. If you can picture it in your third eye, that means that you can match that frequency in the universe. And just like a radio, everything in the universe is frequency. Just like a radio, you can tune into that vibration. You can tune into that reality. But if they, if you don't know that your mind can do that if you don't know that your mind is the key to um, the universe because the whole universe is mind over matter, then you don't know how to access the multiverse. You don't know how to access the multiverse of solutions, of cures, cures for all your diseases, cures for uh, if you want to manifest a job, there's a timeline where you get the job and there's a timeline where you don't. Both of these exist right next to each other in uh, the fifth dimension. And the sixth dimension. And if you don't know this, that is where your power is being taken away. And that is the agenda of the dark Satanists and the dark magicians. Because this is magic. This is, uh, and not magic like woo-woo fairy magic bullshit. Like, this is magic. This is real occult science. This is, uh, and occult doesn't mean bad. If I recall, the word occult just means hidden knowledge. 
So, like, this is, this is everything. This is the way to take away people's power and profit. This is why they're, this is why the media promotes fear, because fear is a problem, which means they're, you know what, I'll, I'll make another video about that, but, um, this is why the media, the government, the cabal, the Satanist, the satanic cult that runs the world, this is why the world, uh, this is why consciousness is suppressed on planet Earth. This is why. Because it creates limits. The more that you limit somebody's God power, because if you tried to fucking, you can't con a God. You cannot trick a God. He's God. You can't fuck with a God. If you met God, if you met God, you couldn't fucking sell him a cheap trick. He'd say, fuck you, I'm God. Uh, I'm not falling for your bullshit. If you, if humans could evolve to the point where they can do telekinesis and uh, instant manifestation, they would manifest food out of thin air. They could perform materialization. There would be no poverty. There would be no crime. There would be no problems because you would know how to access all these solutions. You can manifest food out of thin air. Um, you, could, you could do so many things. And yes, we have the ability to do telekinesis and we have the ability to do telepathy, clairvoyance, all that jazz. I can do some of my spiritual powers. I've astral projected before. Um, I'm learning how to do it on command. I cannot do it on command yet. Um, it's a goal of mine. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to stop the video here because I got my main points across. So yeah, this is, uh, what should I title this video? Mind over matter, cure for cancer, and consciousness suppression. Um, thank you. Have a blessed day. Uh, stand in the love, stand in the light, own your power. You are an infinite creator. You are a fractal of source energy. Everything in the universe is consciousness. Um, mind over matter is the way the universe works. Mind over matter. Mind. They are trying to steal your fucking mind. Because that is your real power. You are powerful. You are... The whole universe is one giant mind. Did you know that? The all is mental. That's from the Kabbalion. And I'll leave you with that. Go read the Kabbalion. Alright, have a nice night. Love cosmic curiosity. Question everything, but know thyself. Namaste.